Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Anne Catherine and I make videos on painting, home decor and DIY here on YouTube. Today's video is very exciting because I'm taking you on a tour of a very new apartment that we've just bought. It's a one bedroom apartment here in the city and we're going to be renting it out. So before anybody can move in, it needs some serious face lifting. So I'm going to be taking you along with me. But first, let's see what it looked like before. So here we are inside the apartment. Uh, this is the entryway. It's, uh, well, as you can see, it's a real fixer upper. It's absolutely terrible looking. Look at these walls. And uh, we've got these huge beams that have been painted red to apparently accentuate them, even though they're not really a feature you'd want to highlight. Here is the cupboard. So yeah, there's quite a lot of storage in there for the people who are gonna live here. And then uh, here we are in the bathroom. So yeah, pretty standard, it's not very modern. This was built in the 1990s, so it has all the original features. Here's the original um, toilet paper holder, a uh, funny little toilet seat. We have a shower, a sink, somewhere to put the washer dryer. So I think most of it is gonna stay. <laughs> That's me, <laughs> hi. So yeah, the walls need quite a lot of work. Yeah, some patching up, some sanding, some painting, but I think we can make them work. Because these walls aren't structural, the real thing is just to make them look good. This is the big uh, dining and living room area. Um, yeah, so I really don't like the wall colour, but it's a nice, big, spacious room. We've got this this weird grey thing that's been scratched by the previous owner's cats. Um, so yeah, it's definitely gonna need some work. But it is a handy little media unit, so we're gonna keep it. Um, yeah, just normal tile floors. Here's the big windows looking out onto the courtyard. There's a playground. <laughs> So yeah, um, I really like these. They're um, the original wood windows, so uh, they're also really easy to, to spruce up. Uh, here's the kitchen. Um, yeah, so again, it's gonna need some work, some, um, well, yeah, we're gonna try to uh, neutralize. The, yeah, what's that sticker doing there? Um, yeah, <laughs> but anyway, we're going to try and neutralize this room to make it appeal to more people because at the moment the green, uh, I don't think it's everybody's cup of tea, but I like this table here with the chairs. Again, a nice window looking out onto the green. So, um, yeah, there's some good bones here. So the external walls are all insulating masonry, so it's actually a really nice place to live in. It's nice and warm and stays warm in the winter. So now we're going into the bedroom that is on the street side, but it's a little um, residential street, so not that many people actually drive by. The floor has this original lino, so that's something we're gonna keep. Here's a headboard that is there, so we're just gonna we're just gonna keep it. These little shelves um, that we work as a bedside table, and here a light switch right by the bed. Uh, again, those really nice double glazed um, wood windows. So yeah, definitely gonna keep those. They just all need a little bit of painting, a little bit of TLC. Here are the shutters. So yeah, all the windows have these um, these plastic shutters. So that's um, that's really good to have for security, for um, keeping the, the heat out in the summer, and just for, for uh, blocking the light out whenever you're sleeping. So that marks the end of the tour. It's a very small apartment, so it didn't take too long. But uh, yeah, so in the next videos, we're gonna be making it up, uh, making it look good for the people who are gonna move in. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss all those episodes. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.